Good afternoon and welcome to our Midday Mull for Saturday the 5th of September. Continuing to reflect on the book of Ruth, we've seen uh, Naomi come back from Moab, destitute, comes back with her daughter-in-law, neither of anything. Um, Ruth starts gleaning, they end up approaching Boaz, who's a relative, and say, will you act as our kinsman redeemer? Will you be our goel? Will you buy us back? And Boaz says, I'd happy to, except there's a closer relative who has a prior claim on this. And so the next day he goes to the town gate, calls the elders, calls the man over and says to, the, to him, uh, the field of Naomi needs to be redeemed. Will you do it? And the man says to him, I will redeem it. And then Boaz said, on the day you buy the land from Naomi and from Ruth, the Moabitess, you acquire the dead man's widow in order to maintain the name of the dead with his property. At this the kinsman redeemer said, Then I cannot redeem it because I might endanger my own estate. You redeem it yourself. I cannot do it. Now in earlier days in Israel for the redemption and transfer of property to become final, one party took off his sandal and gave it to the other. This was the method of legalizing transactions in Israel. So the kinsman redeemer said to Boaz, Buy it yourself. And he removed his sandal. And as I reflected on that, I thought, here was a, a person who, when was a, he was approached by Boaz, said, there's this responsibility, yes, I'll do it, I'll redeem the, the property, I, I will do that. Um, but when Boaz points out the full implications of what he's doing, he backs out and says, actually, I can't do it, I don't want to do it. And sometimes we might be tempted to rush into things without thinking them through clearly. And we see Jesus challenging the, the wealthy young man who comes to him and says, oh, I want to follow you. Uh, uh, what do I need to do? And Jesus looks at him and says, mm, to f follow me, you need to go and sell everything. Then come follow me. Um, and the man goes away because that cost was too high. And we need to recognize that commitment will always be costly. Um, and there will be many things which would be good to do, but we need to weigh up the cost. Um, and we need to recognize that to do something half-heartedly or to start something when you can't follow through with it might end up causing more problems in the long run. And it would be better, like this kinsman redeemer too, when you weigh up the costs and the consequences to say that I cannot do. Let somebody else do it. Um, so as you f go through the week, um, recognize the call, recognize the cost, um, and know that always the benefits that God gives us and the blessings that he pours out will make it worthwhile um, in the long run. But we sometimes need to tread with caution um, and sometimes maybe even not go down a path if we recognize we can't follow through. So be wise as you are blessed.